this so that it, doing good. I, I did that so that way when the people jump in, you know, it's it's they're automatically on mute, but um, they will uh, they will be unmuted. Okay, so you guys are good to go. Um, I love- ask real quick. Um, because I originally do this um this discussion or debate, whatever you want to call it, on the uh like bottom up obstruction, and I, I got a little bit on that. You know, then we just said we're going to kind of go over the the uh. You know, kind of where we left off on some of the points on Jaren's. I figured, you know, pretty much optics. But I wanted to ask Tune, did you did you do, uh, prepare any kind of presentation or anything? No, I don't. I don't have anything. But uh, I can. I can. I can do stuff on the fly. Yeah, if you want to do it on the fly, that's fine. If you want to, if you want, I'll go first. I guess that's up to everybody. And um, you could respond to that, or if you want to do something on, uh, I just put together like a ten and a half minute little opener on some of the key points that I really wanted to discuss. And um, like I said, I didn't put, I do have something which I will um, elaborate on with the the celestial refraction equation. I know that if you don't have the variables, it's any, any equation is pretty much worthless if you don't have the variables and such. So uh, if you'd like later on in the debate, we I can demonstrate that and the, describe the variables and whatnot. The celestial refraction variables. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's, let's yeah, do, yeah. Uh, let's do first things first, I suppose. Um, I, I just want everybody to make sure that they enjoy the, the clip from super troopers of them slamming syrup oh, that's a great movie yes. and a pat great the, scene pat the <laughs> chat pat the chat posted i i read i read up on that some of the time they were drinking syrup and they had five gallon buckets on the floor next to them because they were throwing up but also they had iced tea in some of them so there you go all right anyway what what do you got? That Brian? is a classic. What do you what do you got? That is a us? classic. Man. It is. Yeah, if I can share screen. Yeah, First go off, ahead. Let me let me watch my audio set real quick. Get a second. All right, cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, Brian, if you just share your screen and then McToon could click on your screen, then he could probably just show that to his audience for the YouTube. Should work out. Yeah. Um. And uh, Brian, for for your benefit, there I posted the the uh, questions that I sent to to Jaron. That's the actual screenshot of my message to Jaron. So, because uh, there was some confusion, because I didn't, I wasn't clear for flat Earth at the end of the um, the two questions, the first two. So sorry uh, for that. Yeah, we'll just we'll discuss that once when we get into it yeah. and everything. That's fine. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think he's um, adapted his platform, like his debate. I think it's gonna. That was a lot to try to cover. Oh yeah. In in an it hour was, and a half. He was the first so, one. Yeah, we were the first, right? Right. Yeah. So he's gonna adapt to that. But I like I like the uh, what he's doing though to to uh, you know dwindle it down and see what works the best. I'm good with all that. And yeah, that was that was fun. Jason T says right. thinks that Brian is calling from AOL Messenger circa 1997. I'll try and adjust my audio, but I guess that's not going to matter much. During- uh, <laughs> tell me when you see my screen, Mike. Uh, not yet. Let's see. Here it comes. It's coming. There it is. We see your torso and legs. Is that your torso right, and legs? You see, what you got in the background is a tune. This is this was my tube. This doesn't really matter, but I mean, since I'm I ran seventy foot of tube, this really doesn't have much to do with my demonstration. But it is. I got a limp balloon, two limp balloons, to, um, of C pipes wrapping around about seventy feet, and I did one hot, one side cold to show a pressure gradient and containment. But that's not anything having to do with my debate but it it is in the background a little bit so i figured i'd say that but um it tell me if y'all can hear this in this debate i'm going to show the difference between the flat earth and the globe earth the flat earth show i, I yeah. can hear it yeah 
Carry on. Those demonstrations. All of our claims, we show examples and we show real world demonstrations. They ask for numbers and equations, which they cannot demonstrate. So the equations are worthless. The numbers are worthless if you can't demonstrate it in real life. For example, when we show long distance observations or mirror flashes or lasers that would be impossible on a globe, they give us seven over six R or some other math and different equations. When we ask them to demonstrate it in real life, they give us sugar water in a fish tank. So when they try to demonstrate it, it literally shows obstruction or limits vision backing up a flat earth. It's ridiculous. So in my opener, I'm gonna show a few of them said examples. And I would ask my opponent to give us real world demonstrations of any of your claims and not just mathematics. We don't care about the mathematics until you can show it working in reality. So if you can't show it working in real life, it's just hot air. It's just an excuse. It's not an explanation until you can show it. So I'm going to ask MC Tune to table the math for a minute, show us real world examples of anything ever this is a short video i put together a bunch of random jet trails to show that it's not earth curve it's perspective making us see in a dome like in our background so basically our visual background is domed or curved it's curved in appearance the further away you get like that plane there is flying almost straight at us, but it looks like it's going straight up because it's far away. So the further they are away, the more they appear to be going straight up and straight down. When they get closer to us, like that one there, you see that it's level. So as it approaches, it uh, levels out and then starts dropping down as it goes away from us. And it can't be earth curve because let's say that plane there that's going away from us looks like it's going straight down. It's probably, let's say 20 or 30 miles away that couldn't be more than, what, four or 500 foot of drop if we lived on a ball. So that's proof that it's perspective. It's not earth curve. Jaron calls it the personal atmospheric dome, which I guess is as good a term as any, but it, he's right, it's observer dependent. And the farther, like I said, the further away something gets, the more it gives off that appearance. So it's perspective and whatever else is going on in the atmosphere. But it can't be earth curve, or we'd live on a tiny ball. So I've, I've heard somebody say, like, our eyes are round. The earth is not. <laughs> and that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. But even if the earth were a globe the way they describe it, that would not be enough to explain or justify the domed appearance we see. It's uh, It does not do anything to prove earth curve. Like that plane there, there one's flying toward us, one's flying against us. So I recommend anybody who hadn't already to pick a clear day without too many clouds and just go look at the jet trails for 10 or 20 minutes. And it will teach you a lot about perspective and it'll help you understand the flat earth and the way our eyes work. Hopefully now you can see all of, pretty much all of yeah, Chicago, all the lower buildings. Including, including what's at ground level. So the atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. So the atmosphere really is acting like a lens. According to the experts, say the bottom of of this little stand here uh, represents the bottom of the clouds and so as you can see here the light is way above you know it's well above what would be the bottom of the clouds in this example so let's see what happens I turn off the lights and set my iPhone to record and uh, I'm showing myself here recording all of this with another camera and I pulled the light back on the table and watch what happens here Ooh, check it out and there's that refraction taking place again. It's got the light. It made the sun set, first of all, below the horizon in this case. And uh, let's just show this. And the platform represents the bottom of the clouds. So the sun's going, 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 going down. And whoop, there it is. The bottom of the clouds illuminated by a light source that's well above the clouds. But uh, for anybody who hadn't seen it, uh, with just atmospheric lensing or magnification, you have the sun dropping and setting and not changing size. So I thought we were just gonna keep this honest, but you see the sun setting right in front of the camera, not change size on a flat earth. There's two ways that can happen, dude, with just cold air, with just a little magnification in the atmosphere. Um, 
you know, I so, see where this thing's going already, man. So I'm going to act so, accordingly, man. So then you're saying that the sun is literally on the ground? Because in this demonstration, the, the sun, your, your analog sun is literally on the ground here. So you're saying that the sun is literally touching the ground in reality? No. Nope. Did the oh. sun touch the ground? Did the sun in, touch the ground in either example? Yeah, and your analog is right is right on the ground there. So, okay. No, I'm saying did it actually touch the ground, though, in either example? It, yeah, it sure looked like it was. Did yeah. it reach zero? When it was just sitting above the ground in front of the yeah, camera. I mean, it looked like it looked like your analog setup that you had there had the sun right on the ground. Did it ever hit zero? Did did what ever hit zero? Did, did what ever hit example, zero? Did either example approach zero? Did what approach zero? The sun example, the white light in the first video, or the picture of the sun, or the flashlight in the second video. Did either of them touch the ground or zero? The horizon is zero. Yeah, it, it sure looked like you had placed the light or whoever had done it had placed the light right it on the ground. Like it, yeah. But it didn't though, right? It yeah. didn't though, but it, it did disappear though, right? Yeah, so, so I, what I'm getting is that you think that the sun is literally basically right on the ground for flat earth. That's what, I'm, what getting. I'm getting. What I'm getting is that the sun right in front of your direct line of sight disappeared. There's two examples of how it could work on a flat earth plain as day without the size change. Here is for flat earth. I, I, I don't know how this works. But that's quite amazing. That's how I think I you're going to have to explain it. We're off to a bumpy start because I just showed you in the first video with just a little bit of lensing, like they say, the atmosphere of the lens back the sun away. It disappeared and it hit the bottom of the cloud. So, so you Literally, think you think so? How high is the cloud? How high did you measure the sun to be? So I can demonstrate something, and in the same debate, you pretend you didn't even see it. So if this object here, if you're, if you're above it. It can never, ever obscure anything greater than its height if you're above it. No matter how far or how close it is or how far away it is, it can never, ever obscure more than the height of the object if, if you're above it. That's why it's critical to remember that things below true level will never appear above true level and things above true level will never appear below true level. Okay. So you tell me this boat is not missing more than whatever this is, five foot? No, it is missing more. Because the Earth is curved. This boat might be maybe two miles away, bro. <laughs> and I'm higher than that. I'm like 15 yeah. foot high, bro. Uh, this is not more than two, three miles. And I'm uh, a no. lot higher than six foot over the water. Trumpets. So the horizon, that but, boat is not behind the horizon. And it, this wave is, I uh, say, five foot exaggerating. It might be three foot. It's going to block a lot. I mean, it's going to kind of a second wave. And an, on another boat, it's going to be blocked a lot. <laughs> on orthographic view, you got a point, Trumpets. But when you look in through a first person point of view, uh, I give this to to Ranty, for example. He's gonna. I mean, he's, he's here, visual. Look at this boat. How much is gonna be hidden by by? by well, so, oh. so you're saying exactly what we're saying, um, which is on a curved surface, it would do that because the line because the line to the boat is under is, is underneath your line of sight. This boat is not behind the curve because I'm a lot higher than the horizon should dictate for this boat to be behind it. I hope I didn't lose. You think that's small, sorry? Yeah, Jose films it a lot, so he, he kind of knows his location. Right, that's gone. That building's gone. Isn't it? And that yeah. building's yeah, must have at least one story on it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how big those waves are, but they don't look huge. No, they're not huge. They're... Uh, what would you think if you took in an auto level out and looked through the scope and say 25, say 30 miles away, you still had a, a obviously a water horizon, but the auto level scope is below the water horizon. What would you think of that? I doubt that it ever would be. It is, well, about five, six foot it was, actually. Yeah, yeah. Just, and I would not question it at all. You're saying, sorry, you're saying the horizon is below the horizontal, which is what you'd expect. The, uh... No, he said the crosshairs of the yeah. auto level was below the horizon. It's critical to remember that things below true level will never appear above true level. And Oh, right. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. That is a bit weird. Yes, yeah. Okay. Threw us off completely. Uh, it, it's really weird to me that, to think that you're six foot off the water or so and that you can have a level scope and look through the scope and basically the Great Salt Lake has been, you know, loomed up uh, a good amount. I mean, it, it really doesn't make sense to, to my mind, truthfully. It's looming up if the water's looming up. Uh, and it's covering part of the, the mountain, like it, it threw me for a loop, really. Um, so, how would you explain in your model, you know, what would it take for, um, for the crosshair to block half a mountain and appear below the water horizon 
as example by uh, by myself and by George Nacek's uh, Ice Lake uh, measurement and by uh, Jess Kozlowski and Tim Osmond's um, Great Salt Lake Strong's knob uh, measurements at like seven foot above the Great Salt Lake. Uh, so it's not that rare. And but how, how does the globe model explain that? I don't. I didn't. I'm not familiar with your particular example. For, uh, I have seen George Nacek's uh, thing. So. You uh, I have seen George Natchik's, uh, thing. So you're saying what you're asking is how is it that if you're a, a several feet above the water, that the crosshairs can be below the, uh, the horizon. No, yeah. So, so the, the way, uh, you know, when, when light goes through a gradient, uh, pressure, pressure gradient, it curves and that curve has a radius. If that radius is larger than the radius of the earth, then it will make something appear slightly higher. If that radius is smaller than the radius of the earth, then it can cause distant objects to appear higher, significantly higher. So, for example, the horizon can appear higher. Then it can cause distant objects to appear higher, significantly higher. So, for example, the horizon can appear higher. I just. One second. There's more. Sharon. No, that was it. And that was, uh, I, I wanted to show that because, um, Toon had claimed that, you know, in a recent video that he made that, that, and, and you know, just to all Glober examples, you know, except for rent, he was a, it made a comment. He was a back then during one of my examples, but, these are all Glovers, Tom Osmond, George Nacek, and then MC Toon even said, yeah, he, he does recall uh, George Nacek's example. So I wanted to see, are you uh, okay with retracting that statement that you made in your, re in your recent video that objects uh, below, below the horizon or can't be blocked? I mean, do you want to retract uh, that oh, now? I, I get where you're going with that. Um, I'm trying to un unlook at at the uh, the chat here or the I don't know what I'm how to get out of here. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so so you're looking at so so you compared the um, the how depth perception works thing that I put up to to how uh, the effects of refraction, right? So all right, I right. Need to, whatever. whatever I, the, I need to yeah. yeah go ahead, I need go ahead. to get. I need to get out of this uh this uh um I, I want to see the chat and I can't see the chat. Uh why can't I switch to the chat? Because I want to post something. Um I uh did some you, apocryphal you need yeah, okay. Yeah, so can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so where you want to post that in oh, chat? I want to, yeah, I want to post go to... the chat, but I just see the, the pictures of all the, the spe people that are in the room. Oh, okay, so so you have to, you, yeah, okay, so you, you have to click on the main chat and then it make a list again. So, like, click on the main chat. I click. Let on me it. see. Okay. Like I still see the, just uh, the, the people. Like, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's the list of people. Okay, sorry. Go. You want to see the chat? Chat. Okay, so scroll down. Scroll down on the side. Oh, hide voice channels. Uh, and then no, well, go down on the left side. Go down. Scroll down. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll see main chat. One of the rooms. Click on it. Yeah. Go down more. Do, do you not have? I'm trying to look on your. I'm looking on your YouTube feed, and I know. it's and, just yeah, not. There's a, there's a it's delay. not sent. Yeah, so you should see. Oh, that's why. Click on see all channels. See all channels. Yeah, because you can only see the voice channels right now, right? Yeah. The chat channels. Yeah, so go to that. the top. Go to the top. Go to the top. Uh, see at the top where it says channels and roles? Yeah. Click on there. Okay, I'm in. Click on channels and roles, and then you're going to see all the channels that you're not seeing. And if you just click on the main chat, it's, it's not there. You should see. Um, okay, that's click on the right where it says channels. Browse channels, yeah, okay. Okay, 
yeah, it's, it's a delay. So now if you go down, you could you could see now what channels you can see and what you don't see. And I hate that Discord did this. It wasn't yeah, like this yeah, before. That's, that's a... That's, but... Um, now I see, see you have to click... Yeah, there you go. If you, if you click on main text chat, you'll be able to see that now. I hate that they wow. did this, but it, it makes it... I don't know. It's easy. Once you set it up, it's awesome, because then you can, like, have only what you want to see, but until you do that it it went it's... out all right you know what i'm, I'm going to drop out and i'll come back in because that has fixed it before cuz i'm okay if you see it didn't fix it so i'll be right back or not i <laughs> or something like that like i do i do agree on that or i'll admit it whatever you want to call it i'll concede wow. that yeah if you don't know the variables or even the units then it's it's impossible like the way google right, describes okay. is oh, no, switching from radiant to green. so i do i do concede oh. that that if, if you don't describe it it's pointless so right. i yeah i went out came back in and i still just see the overview i can't find the the Okay, okay. Wait, McToon. So you 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 clicked on the main chat under the channels, right? You clicked it, like you put a blue check mark next next to main chat. All right, there I got it. I I popped out the 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 the. There's a. I have a window over on the side of the screen now that's got that, so that it's uh trying to. Oh, okay. All right. Globers are checking up with technology. It. Give give Bruce will catch up now. Okay, now it works. All right. Good. Um, okay, so let me let me do this. So this, uh, Brian, you showed this with my voice talking about this, right? The one I just posted there, how depth perception works. I'm sorry. I while I was you, in your in your video, you had my voice speaking while this was on screen. And so the thing I just posted, so you can look at, it. I'm not sharing my screen. You can just look at the, the image that I dropped in there. Where'd you drop it? Because I wasn't trying to misrepresent you. So is there, before we go, uh, are there any main... claims, that, uh, if I put in, um, is there anything that, uh, that I stated that you didn't, that you don't claim so I can retract? All right, all right. No, I, I'm just, I'm just going to respond to the video. And and your very specific question to me. So I'm, I'm responding to that. So can you, can you? Okay, look, and where can, can I see it? Where can I see it? At? It's in, in the main chat. It's in the main text chat. It's the highest one there. I don't. Maybe that's the wrong one, but I can't, I can't. No, I that. haven't looked. It might be, it might be right. I haven't looked there. Hold on, I'm looking right now. Um, text chat. Yeah, it used to be different before they before they did all this, where they made it where you can control like what you see and what you don't see, and you can move the channels yourself. You could put like the text right next to the voice text, or I'm yeah. sorry, the the text yeah. chat next to the voice chat. It makes it used sense to, be like to tie them together somehow, but yeah, it, it's like on mine. It makes like I have it set up like good, like it's easy on mine, but you got to set it up though. All right. Um, are you in there yet, Brian? I'm not seeing it, man. It's, uh, can you repost it? Are you in main text chat? Yeah, I just got it. says, welcome to main chat. It says, this is the start of main chat. No, no, no. Yeah, you're, in, you're in the uh, you're in the wrong one. Uh, it's, it says main text chat. Yeah, that we brings me right back to, um, to Brian Link versus MC Tune debate. Uh, Oh, so we tagged you in the here. I'll tag you again, Ryan. Look you, at the. You are a little too quick to go after me for not get handling the technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But 
Uh, still okay. I'm gonna hit main chat. Main text chat. I, I when I hit that, it, it just welcomed me. Like, I don't see a main text chat. I really don't. Here it is. Now, ta-da! Yes. Okay. So where you say that, you want to repeat your uh, claim while that's up, right. while we're looking at that. So you had my voiceover, Perception. my voiceover, talking about this picture. So that was from uh, one of my videos. I was from your video. Dude, I swear to God, on my life, that's from your video. I didn't do any editing on that. It is 100% from my video. Yes. I have it on my website. Okay. I have it on, and, and I know what page I have it on. That I posted the page that I have it on on my website. And that's the that's the preview picture for it. So that so that says, that. this is how depth perception works. This does not include the effects of refraction. Okay. okay. So everything Would you like above, to repeat? Can you repeat the claim Everything about up. objects appearing higher? It, the, the, re, the, the claim re, uh, related to refraction? Yeah, uh, you said that, that uh, hold on, in fact, I don't want to misquote you. Give me one second if you want to carry on. I'm not going to carry on while you're not paying attention. That doesn't make sense. I'm not paying attention. Pull up your, your quote. Because all I did is play what you said what, while that was on your screen. I just recorded it. Yeah. yeah. So what, what you said is objects can appear higher as if they're lower than the than, than level. But like I said, I want to no. do was the exact screen, quote. That's yeah, when this just that. I wanted to make sure it was exact. Yeah. To make sure you uh, I just wanted to okay. make sure I get your claim right. Okay. So let me... Go check real quick. If you want to hold, you can keep talking if you want to hold yeah. for a second. But I don't want to misquote you. I want to make sure I quote you properly okay. is all. I mean, I, you could just ask me what I mean right now. Okay, let me save some time. So you do agree that if something is below line of sight, then we can see it. Okay, in other words... What Rumpus said is wrong. Is that what you're claiming? If we're above no. true level, okay, well, elaborate so I, so I know where to even go. Uh, like I said, I don't want to misrepresent you. The picture's on screen. Now, this, this does not include the effects of refraction. This is, this is just how, and the title says how depth perception works, but it's more... This is how perspective now, works, but uh, that was why I put that because you yeah, said it never but, happens like but, that. You said never will oh we gosh. see this and that. It I didn't mean, say only if it. refraction. I was trying to explain it, Brian, but then I, then, then somebody interrupted me and stopped me from explaining it. Brian. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, without considering refraction, things that are above the eye converge down. Things that are below the eye converge up, and also left and right but we're mostly talking about top to bottom this was this was something i got years ago from a flat earther that flat earther posted so if something is actually below you perspective says that it will continue to be below you and if something is actually above you perspective says that things will will it will continue to be above eye level now that of course still does not include the effects of refraction so that's that's very specifically what I mean. This this diagram here does a good job of describing it. If if for example the road is below you and the ceiling the light on the ceiling is you. above you, that light on the ceiling will never appear to go below the road. And you say never, right? Never. Due to perspective not accounting for refraction still so sometimes then so okay i just that's what i wanted i wanted you to clear that up so so when you said something will never go below true level if it's above and in our last sight you meant barring refraction or or other or just make you know there are just refractions all the say. so you didn't mean never then right there is always the possibility of confounding variables Okay, well, if you want to uh, straighten up your video, that's fine. And, and just put a, a side note or, and go to your website and put a side note that you didn't mean that never. You, you meant uh, just like geometrically is what you meant, right? Just 
ge- with ge- geometry, not never. Yeah, okay. Can I share my screen real quick? Just for two seconds? Okay. Things below true level never appear above true level, and things above true level will never appear below true level. You, yeah, you're off to a good start. All right, super. So you're being pedantic. Got it. Man, I'm really not trying to be pedantic. I mean, that that was a, a video against flat Earth when we're describing things happening, and uh, and when it doesn't line up with the geometry, and that's our explanation. If you want to call reality or our demonstrations that we show you or our explanations pedantic, that's kind of showered, ain't it? I mean, that's no. our. No, it, it, you weren't providing an explanation. You were you were being pedantic about about my explanation for things. You weren't presenting your explanation for things. I gave demonstrations, okay, of a light right in front of the Brian, camera. Brian, right when you were when you were talking about my my words in my video, you were being pedantic about what I was saying. No, that was you dogging us for being or saying that never can something be below level, okay? But so, but in your model, okay, it's okay. We've got you, explanations again, Brian. Due to perspective, perspective, just perspective explanations. Is in honest? isolation, is that honest? In, in isolation, without considering confounding variables, perspective says that things will uh, that are above you will never appear below you. Fair enough. So when I show something in front of us above zero, above the horizon or above the ground, and I just let a little cold air into play, or if I involve a little bit of magnification. So there's examples of how that is out the window. So when you then make a video afterwards saying never, when you're talking about the sun or, or anything like that, acting like never, it's not possible. Is that honest, too? Uh, well, yeah, the because refraction works against it, it's also a never. Even more so never, because refraction works yeah, the opposite demonstrated direction. demonstrated that we all describe refraction. You say things towards... And then I ask for demonstrations over and over and over for years. We get uh, sugar water in a fish tank, okay? But that doesn't do what you say. You say it makes things appear higher, but 80% of the time, it literally block shit and obstruct shit over a flat bottom fish tank so you, you see you're just making these claims bro and they're i just want to call you out on the honesty of them they're not honest when i show you that the bottom of a skyline disappears and the, you describe refraction working being that the light bends toward the denser medium toward the sh- thicker sugar and not not making things appear higher, but literally blocking the bottom of the city skyline. That's called a demonstration, bro. That's what I wanted. I don't want just claims and numbers and horseshit. I want demonstrations like I gave you. Yeah. Well, just to be clear, Brian, none of that was said before the debate. So so rolling into the debate with Jaron, expecting that I would have these things on the fly, when we, that wasn't something we discussed. You had very specific things that you were demanding. You can't expect that. I, I coming into the debate, you never told me that ahead of time, Brian. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Like, um, but but, but it, the fact still, as long as we can clear this up afterwards, I'm good with it because it doesn't prove a flat Earth. I'm not trying to act like, but I'm just trying to say, you know, when we we've got some legitimate arguments and we've got some real world demonstrations that I just think that are being. Uh, you know, years later, this is six, seven ongoing years, and they're not being even acknowledged. And uh, I'm not do saying, you, mean, you know, do you mean thought. like Rob Skiba's using the wrong side of the lens? Thing? Yeah, as far as opening I, the door. No, no, I, the wrong side of the lens was the was the guy, the meteorologist. He literally used the top of a magnifying glass. So anytime part, you're looking through the yeah. bottom of a of a lens, like like being at Brian, ground level, Brian, we, we would be looking through the, the bottom of the lens, use, right, Brian? The top part causes light to bend down. That's why you should use the top part. And when Rob Skiba did it, he used the bottom part of the lens, which causes light to bend up. The opposite of the way it does in the air. 
Really? So if we're looking have, through the lens, and I have the... Rob Skiba's thing on the floor behind me, behind the bookshelf behind me. I test. So you it. just want to dig your hole? Keep. Tell me when I can respond. Shovel away. I didn't understand you. Your your Wi-Fi cut out. I know you didn't, bro. But so if we're looking through the through the app. Which is we're describing as a lens. Are we looking through the bottom of that lens? Or are we looking through the top of that lens? You... We're, we're not looking and... through a circular lens, Brian. The atmosphere is not a circular it lens. Circular. So, so that's just a deflect. It doesn't have to be circular. No, it could be a square. Yeah, it's not a Deflecting. circular lens. So if you're going to use... Lever. If you're going to use a lens as an analog you need to use the correct portion of the lens as an analog or get a lens that's even a better analog which are hard to come by so a circular lens will do you just need to use the. i've got the part one of... bro got you one right to... here tune okay. they're hard to come by they're not hard to come by bro a circular it's any lens? lens okay no it's not it's any, any lens, lens. The, the geometry of the lens matters brian a circular right lens... but they all have the same effects, don't they no they don't they're very different. He's going to side roll and say, well, you have convex and bro, get back to the point. I'm not going to let you dodge, okay? The point is, is if the atmosphere is a lens, we're looking through the bottom no, of that we're lens, not. right? No, no, it's not a circular lens. You need to use the correct portion of the lens if you're going to use a circular lens as your as your analog. What not the bottom. It right has here. to be the top of my a hand. circular lens. What about the lens I have in my hand, Tune? I can't right see your right hand. Here. I can't Listen, see your hand, Brian. That's my square lens, bro. You're dodging, acting like the lens it's has to be certain. Bro, square lens. You're, dude, you're just be honest, Hold dude. On. Brian, is it a Fresnel lens? Why would we look at the top of Brian, the lens? Brian, is it a Fresnel lens? Yes, I have a Fresnel lens. I have and, four Fresnel lenses. I have three okay. different kinds of magnifying glasses. Okay. I have the, the curved and, mirrors. I've got the whole awesome. assortment, bro. Brian, they're all they're all circular lenses. All of them. Even if it's cut in a square, it's still a circular lens. There's circles on it. You can tell that by looking at the circles on the Fresnel lens. The one that Skiba sells with his kit is a square, circular Fresnel lens. It sounds weird to say that. A it's a circular, circular lens. Circular. And you're done deflecting. When you're done deflecting, okay, I'm so not we're deflecting, comparing Brian. I'm telling you, if the, you're, the, the atmosphere is not a circular lens, it does not act like a circular lens. I'm not if I put a square, does it, how do you know? So you're saying we have to go to the top of the lens and then the circular lens works fine as long as we're looking through the top of the lens, Correct. which is not Correct. what we'd be through in the atmosphere. The atmosphere causes light to bend down. You need to use the portion of the circular lens that causes light to bend down. What portion of the of a circular lens causes light to bend down? Why would I be trying to make shit bend down? To because that's what the atmosphere does, Brian. Is it... Brian, the 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 air in the okay, atmosphere causes so light playing... to bend down. This is this is Snell's law. The air closer to the ground is more dense and it has a higher index of refraction. Snell's law oh, says that, that light. I'm not done talking. Snell's law says that light bends towards the higher index of refraction. That's towards the ground. Light in the air bends toward the ground. It bends down. You're stuck. You're stuck. So, so we can refer to. So, you don't want to talk about the atmosphere being the lens. You want to manipulate it, make it bend away. We're not talking about Snell's law, in my opinion. When we're looking through long distance Snell's atmosphere, law Snell's doesn't law doesn't apply to. to do with it. Wait, wait hold on, hold on, hold on, since when does Snell's law so not apply to refraction, that, you're Brian? That, you're claiming that look through. Uh, onward toward the denser medium, like in the fish tank then everything appears higher. I just showed you that is not dem demonstrable. When you show that, we don't see everything higher. Like I said, 80% of the times, we get blockage from the bottom up and things appear lower. Uh, how did you How did you do an A to B comparison of that? How did you quantify that? I don't hear anything, Brian. We use your boy Mick West, okay? I I showed out it before he added the sugar, and after he added the sugar. After he added the sugar, we seen shit lower. Shit, the the magnifying light, um, and half of it, maybe. 
light appeared higher, but everything we were seeing appeared lower. So you got to get your shit straight, bud. Because when we're looking we'll, through we'll atmosphere, show, show the side by side. Then let's see it. If the atmosphere is the lens, we're not looking through the top of that lens, bro. There's no way out, bro. No way out of that. Brian, which portion of a circular lens will cause light to bend down? The top. So are you saying the, the atmosphere is a circular lens? I'm saying it's not a circular you, lens. Specifically you, using you a circular you, lens is a little bit of a problem because it's not a no, great it, analog for the air. But you if see you're, what you're going, doing? I'm not done talking. If you're going to insist on using a circular lens, you must use the correct portion of the circular lens that is somewhat of an analog for what happens in the air. So you, so you want to talk about the atmosphere, make me use a certain part of the lens based off your claim. Uh, what I'm claiming is that it's Snell's we're law. looking through the atmosphere. It's Snell's it's law. What I'm it's claiming. not a claim. It's, it's how it's how light Snell's, refracts. Bro, it's the same medium. Right. It's the same medium. Okay, so it's here's the thing. If we're looking through the atmosphere, are we looking through the top of the lens or the bottom of the lens? Just fuck all with a magnifying glass. Just what part of the lens are we looking through? It's if not, we're looking through the atmosphere, because it's looking, just it just is ironic that when you get half a mile up and there's papers from NASA to back this up, we don't get bottom up obstruction from half a mile or higher. We don't see mountains in the in the when we're half a mile high blocked in the background is that just link, like Brian. another coincidence post or the, what bro post the link to what you're talking about in the text chat there so we can look my man gleam is out there he can post it I, i'll dig it but i think you've seen it are you are you saying we do see bottom up obstruction i, I don't oh, this brian, is brian it's it's i'm i'm just looking for the first law of flurf to be confirmed i'm literally proving that the first law of glurf when you say that the first law of slurp, we have to lie to flirt, bro. You that's I'm not the first law. Dim- that's that's an axiom. Lies, bro. That's not it. That's not the first bro, law. That's can an axiom. You be honest one time in your life and just say that you were wrong. That when you say that never, never, okay, when you meant never, you were wrong. No, Brian. No, I was first I was law being- of There you have it. Bro. He won't admit ever because he knows it all, folks. A compulsive liar, Brian. Come on, why, why do you got to be like that? I'm just, joking. I'm just in the role, bro. I'm just, I'm just saying that. Let, I'll call, man. We I'll, used to get along, Brian. Now you're getting all dirty. Yeah, I'll, I'll back it up a notch. Let's bring it down. <laughs> so, all right, here you go. But it, it does, Nico, Nico just posted, just posted a video there. But when you it does McTune and and, all, and defense, okay, I'll calm it down. But when when you say the first law of flirt, like there's a, a big majority of us trying to keep it honest and trying do, to learn do shit. Do you know what the first law of flirt is? Well, I'm just referring to the one where do you say you, you have know? to lie to flirt. That's not the first law. What is the first law of flirt, okay. Brian? Don't know. I thought it was you have to lie to flirt. No, that's an axiom. What is it? That's an axiom. The first law of flirt is that all flirt citations contradict the flirt's um, position. So when when really? you said something, you when, you, when you said so, something, so the never you meant is not never. You're you're literally projecting on me, Tune. You won't take back that it never happens. You're just giving reasons uh, why it sometimes Brian, does. But Brian, Brian, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You, you need to understand. When I said that, I was saying it within the context of how perspe- perspective makes things appear. So right. you were wrong. So No, I are... was not. I was completely right, yeah. but you are ignoring the context. All right, I posted the no, laws you, of... You, you Hold on, Brian. Geometry, bro. For reference, I posted the laws of Flurf so that you can see them. So you can reference bro, them. You so when I say... Brian, so when I say when I say first law of flurf, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that you're lying when I say that. But that is what calls a flurf, right? What's that? Literally projecting. So you're projecting. So what you meant to say in that video was that geometrically it never happens, right? You didn't mean yeah. never in as the in context real world, of right? in the context of perspective. That's what I meant. But you're trying to apply it to something I didn't mean. That's the pedantics that you're trying to do there, Brian. Perspective. Okay, so you didn't mean never, though, right? Never. I meant within the context of what I was talking about, Brian. Don't put words in my mouth. 
clear that up? Don't put words in my mouth, Brian. It's rude. No, no, it's you. That video was describing a sun and its setting, okay? And now you're just changing it to a gist perspective. So not never then, right? You meant not never, correct? Wrong. I meant within the context of what I was talking about. It was on screen. But you don't. You didn't want to, you know, leave it in the context that I was meaning it to be in. You wanted to apply something else to it. I just want you to say so, not never, right? No, I would only not say that because only Brian, when it comes to geometrical perspective, right? Brian, I was saying within a certain context. You're ignoring that context. That's dishonest. Right. So we'll, we'll clarify that. I in already the video did. And say, I already <laughs> did, Brian. Okay. Yeah. All right, good, you just right good. just a couple minutes ago, Brian. But you keep bringing it up, Brian. Yeah. You you won't let it go, Brian. I don't know why you won't let it go, Brian. It's a little rude, but that's fine because that's what we expect sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy, that's right, and champion of the world, Grand Standing MC Tune. You cut out there. <laughs> I said, ladies and gentlemen, the gaslighting champion, grandstanding world, MC June. He cut out again. If you that's fine. Out, but that's fine. That. Uh, All right. So, so Brian, um, do, do you want to get to what you and I spoke about for today, or do you want to keep going on this? I'm fine either way. Yeah, we'll definitely move off this, but I do want to bring up uh, before we get. I'd like to bring up um, a couple quick ones. Just one mainly is that, okay, so um, I did describe it in Jaron's video how we see in a dome. Um, I, this time I was able to show it, and I, I hope you were able to see the airplanes. Like when you see them further away, they literally look like they're going down when we know that we watch airplane after airplane. And they literally all appear like that. They look like they're going straight up. I, I compared it to uh, when I tricked a dude saying it was a space shuttle. Okay. And uh, but it looked like a space shuttle when you catch them lower, when you could see them lower to the horizon, which you you can't always. It it has to be a real clear day. But even above that, it looks like they're going straight up. Um, so that's not due to Earth curve, right? That's just our visual. That that's our visual perspective. So you can't really use the mathematics to Brian, to describe who, who vision, is who has ever appearance. said certainly not me, but who has ever said that how we view airplanes flying in the sky, just just our view from the ground of them, somehow is evidence for the Earth being a globe. Who has said that? I'm not saying you have. I'm okay, not saying so, that. So then I'm why would that... you bring it up as a refutation? for it when when because i haven't said it and i don't know anybody who has on to the sun, and when we're going to move on to the sun and stars and whatnot okay when when we're seeing things do that visually we're seeing them drop angle appear to rise appear to be right. in a dome around us then i'm just proving that that is optical right. so i'm, I, I'm, I'm, leading, glad I'm just trying to give you some ready. evidence like i'm trying to give evidence and demonstrations like real world stuff to back my shit up yeah and when and you're I'm ready, asking you to do the same. Yep. When you're ready, I will. I will address it. And and uh, I just need you to not interrupt me just while I address it. I'll, I'll up. All right. Good. Uh, I posted that picture again. Uh, how depth perception works. If you want to look at that, um, if you look at that tunnel there, if you were to imagine uh, a uh, let's let's write the center at the top there. Let's install a uh, a track, and let's put a model airplane on that track. And have it be on the far, far end of the the tunnel there. And then let's have that model airplane on the track that's just below the ceiling, right in the center of the ceiling there, the highest point of the ceiling. Have that move towards the viewer. That model airplane on the track just below the ceiling of the of the um, the tunnel there, which is not changing in elevation at all. It's being consistent in elevation. That plane will appear to move straight up to the observer right oh no, i'm taking a look at it <laughs> are there any flat earthers with us in the side chat tonight says matthew fours i think there are a couple in here we got Sam Odd he five. Uh, um, where are you showing that at, Tim? 
it's the same picture. I put it in the I'll put it in again in the the main yeah. text chat. Yep. Oh, the same picture. That's, okay. I, I prefaced Give this by saying it's the same picture, Brian. Did you miss that part? Yeah, but can you demonstrate this up close? The way you're describing it mathematically, can you demonstrate it locally up close? Brian, you didn't ask me to provide See, a demonstration no, for this today. Ever, dude. Of, course, no. of oh. course, this is easy to, to demonstrate. This is not difficult to demonstrate. People, people, I don't think you will find anybody that will disagree with this, Brian. I'll go over it again, right? You got the track on the ceiling. It's right at the highest point of the ceiling. There's an airplane right underneath the track suspended from it. At the far, far end of the tunnel That's is what you're showing. Describing. Okay. I want a demonstration. I, I wasn't done talking, Brian. So, all right, let's move on all since right. you don't want to listen to me. No, but when you said no, you Brian, changed you don't want to okay, listen to you... me. You don't want to listen to me, Brian. So you closed down this topic, Brian, because while I was talking You're about right. this and explaining this topic to you, you constantly interrupted me and you don't want to listen to this topic. Wave the white flag bro, by not crazy, allowing me bro. to talk during my portion of the talking. I'm sorry for that, but I'm, you're just... No, you're not sorry for that. that. If you were sorry for that, you would not keep doing it, Brian. You constantly Bro. do it. You are not sorry. If you were sorry, you, you would I'm stop. I'm not going to let you repeat your whole shit without saving time. You're repeating horse shit that I'm asking you to fucking demonstrate in real life. Bro, quick gaslighting. Brian, you're did stuck. you ask you're, me ahead of time stuck. to go and, and do this ahead of time? Video. No, Brian. When you said you changed... Say something new, or, or just let me talk. One or the other. Don't repeat you what we've all heard. a lot, Brian. And whenever I talk, you try to stop me from talking. That tells no, you're me wrong, so you that get you're mad, scared. Bro. You get mad when you're wrong. You're scared when you're wrong, of you get me talking. Mad. You hate when the you idea that I will prove you wrong, so you won't let me talk. That's what you're doing. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead and talk. Just don't okay. repeat, please. I, all right. I've 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 already said it then. So then recall from your memory what I said about this. Go ahead. Talk about the shit on the, the track. And the, you're, you're just some kind of, of, of short-range model describing it to us. And I'm asking you to demonstrate that. I didn't ask you to use the same... Brian, the same Brian, I can't go outside right now at this instant and provide this demonstration. I have not prepped five it. Five years. What? You acting like something up close gives us that vision that, that up close. Yeah, nobody the, the disputes this, Brian. Not even flat earthers. Have... You are literally the only person in the world that disputes this. I'm not disputing it. I'm disputing your description of it. Yeah, you're. Disputing you're disputing. It. Yeah. Got it. You said you updated your website. What? How did you update it? When did I say I updated my website? You said you already did. You said I already fixed it. So what What? What did fix you do what? to fix it? What did I fix? What did I say I fixed on my website? You claim never. See, you just forget. So when oh you claim gosh, never, bro. that it never happens, that you are only talking about perspective, you said you already it was, fixed it. How what am did, I going to fix, fix How am I going to fix the video that I did a year ago on my website? So you didn't update it already then. No, of course okay. I did not, Brian. I've been I've been busy talking to you, not able to just go over and edit a video. So can, can you at least verbally tell me what to do to clarify that that it does happen? And you can't claim oh, you wanna, never. You want to go back to a different topic now that we've already settled. I'll say it the last time. And if you're going to be dishonest and bring it up again, then I'm going to be very upset with you, Brian. And I'm going to call your mom and ask her to stop. Have you stop, okay? Within the context of perspective, perspective, within that context, things on the ceiling will never cross below the, 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 the floor. And things on the floor will never cross and become above, above the, the ceiling. Within just the context of perspective. This does not conclude confounding variables. There you go. Last time I'm saying it, Brian. All right, so we're done with that. You asked me for a demonstration, which I don't have because you didn't ask me yesterday or 10 days ago. So I didn't go and do a specific demonstration just for you, for this thing. You just said it's critical. It's critical to remember that something below. 
You bring up it up here again, above Brian. Level. Didn't, didn't. All right, Brian. All right. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to call your mom. Hold on. Hold on, Tune. Just listen to this real quick to make sure that it, make sure I'm not missing something here because no, uh, you didn't something. say variables. Hold on. You're not talking now. I, I can't hear you if you're. So I'm, so I'm sharing my screen just for 10 seconds if y'all don't mind. Tell me when you can see it. All right, here we go. People will never appear above oh my true gosh, level. You just, and you just, above keep, true you just level can't will stop. never appear below. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm asking that. Let's see. And, uh, you know, I thought you said you already did, but maybe I misunderstood would, when you said you, you already Why would you think? Never, and you put emphasis on never. So you didn't mean never. You didn't mean never. Brian, is, is your mom still around? No, nah, she's passed away, dog. Oh, all right. Well, then I can't get her to come over there and tell you to stop doing it. Just be honest for one I, second. I am, Brian. I am, Brian. I made it clear. I clarified many times, and you've you've asked me not to repeat myself, so I won't. Don't bring it up again. I'm asking you to not repeat no, yourself. I've already clarified. You, you put emphasis I've on never, clarified. so please. I've already clarified. Okay. All right. We'll, all right, we'll, we'll move better, on then. Yeah. So, Good. You know, that, that's it. So you're not willing to ever. I already clarified. Now, the point was, was that, uh, hold on, hold on one second. What are we holding on for? Okay. When I brought up the angle, uh, when I bring up the eclipse angles, then or when I show the moon um, high in the sky and the sun just barely above the horizon, like one to two degrees, um, or about to come up over the horizon, it's explained to me that the moon, if it's one degree above the horizon, is only 2,000 miles, according to the trig, and that the sun being one degree above the horizon puts it at 1,600,000 miles above the horizon. They explain the, the the angles on the moon, the lit angle, not matching what we would expect, which is fine. I'm good with that if, if that's an explanation. But on the in the same breath, you want to say that them parallel rays can hit the bottom of clouds. So when I showed examples, and I've got dozens of them, of a sun, one, two, arguably three degrees above the horizon, uh, Brian, I've got I've the got the diagram that you you refused to look at from last time when I was talking with you. The sun is not one degree above the horizon; it's below the horizon when it's shining on the clouds. Hey, I'm gonna show a picture then, okay? Because the, the examples I gave you, it's well above the horizon. The sun is well above the horizon. What you drew, what you drew was, was deflecting, bro. I didn't I didn't describe a sun below the horizon. I described and. A sun above the horizon shining up on the bottom of clouds. You made that shit up so you'd Let's have somewhere to run. Let's see it, Brian. Okay. How many you want to see, Toon? Just one. Okay. I mean, you could post them in there too, like Nico just did. Yeah, I could. Uh... All right. Let's... It's just amazing. It's amazing. You don't like I've showed him some like you really right. don't. Here's recall. one from Nico just, where, where the sun is above the horizon, but it's not shining just on the bottom of the clouds. Doesn't help you. There. Yeah. But sometimes it does. Right. There you go. And then here's from oh, from Nico. Look at that. Sun is gone. And you can see the clouds where they're lit from just the bottom. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Right. From Glober Mom. Oops. No, no sun there. <laughs> one from Glober Mom. Wow. All right, can you? I, I still don't see the one uh, you're talking about. Yeah, randomly, yeah, yeah, and you, randomly epic suggests that you should get Starlink internet. That might help. Gaslighting, bro. I'm trying to pull up a fucking what you're acting like you've never seen because you're not honest and you're gaslighting me the whole time. I'm trying to pull something up. Just and now you're, you're I, I'm so just, in your audience is gaslighting, dude. I'm filling space because you're 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 looking for stuff. I get it. I, you don't have it handy. You got to find it on your phone. It's it's 
right? You're not on a computer, are you? But quit gaslighting. Are you? I'm not. Are you on a computer or on a phone? Fine, gaslighting turn. Brian, are you on a computer or on a phone? I'm on my phone. Okay, it's Just harder. I get it. It's harder for you to find stuff on your phone. I'm not it's upset not, about that. No, it's not. It's respond to you and keep clicking back and forth. It's just it, whatever. It's just it, even if I was sitting there with you, you you're, you're gaslighting, and then you have uh, chat. It's like you're reading chats that are also gaslighting. Gets old, dude. We're 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 enjoying you, a little chuckle, Brian. Just so we're clear, you know what that means. Define gaslight, please. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Just go find it. Define gaslighting, too. Yeah, making somebody think, maybe making somebody think that they were they heard something wrong or. Making somebody think that that uh, something right, they thought was true is a lie. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna put it in uh in text. I just did it live. I'm gonna put it Main in text. text. Put it in text for you. What? What? Come on. Oh, he'll never get it. It's just this is unbearable. He it take I was trying to give him slack for not being able to to find it quickly because he's on a phone. It's harder on a phone. Get a computer. Um I was giving him grace on that and he doesn't get it. Oh, man. Aggravating. Ooh, look at that. That's a good one there from uh, Globe Turd Society. Carnivore says, by definition, constantly accusing someone else of gaslighting without evidence would be gaslighting. <laughs> no, bro, I just, man, I, I really didn't want to move on until uh, we discussed, you know, the um, when you say never and put emphasis on never, like, uh, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you didn't, going you back didn't to that Brian, never, right? We're done with that. I posted it, bro. Oh, okay, gosh. I've already posted it. All Give right. it a look. That's amazing, Brian. Give it a look. What, now, why? where is that from? You never conceded. You, you, you made a drawing. You never conceded that a sun, one degree above the horizon, mathematically, hopefully you checked it out after the debate. You should know just in your head that it's about a million, you know, knowing the, the tangent. But uh, okay. so, so being one degree above the horizon puts it 1,600,000 miles above that cloud. Right. So you never conceded to the trigonometry. And if anybody but, doesn't understand Brian, this, they, they explain the downward lit moon that's way higher in the sky with that same mathematics. So I would ask them if parallel rays are shining down on a moon when the sun's just barely above the horizon, how are parallel rays simultaneously shining up from the bottom of clouds if it's one million plus miles above the damn cloud? Uh, well, there's a few things you're missing here. Uh, of course, you you need to look down to see the horizon. Do you not know that? Just answer uh, the question, man. And yeah, so wh where is this from? This this is a this is a pretty rough quality. You're just deflecting. Yeah. Let's not talk about. I could do several of them, bro. Just answer the question. You know, <laughs> that'd be. I love know. I love the trick that you're trying to do here. So let's talk about the trig. Let's talk about the triangle calculator. Let's talk about the prettiness of the picture. Let's talk about anything except the point. But... <laughs> Dude, the, the geometry is fun to listen to you. Because because when when you when you actually do the geometry, the one gaslight. time you actually do More the geometry, gaslight. it's I wasn't even done. How could I gaslight if you didn't even let me finish my sentence, Brian? Okay, you didn't want to hear it. If you want to respond, I, do you, you agree with the trig? Me, you <laughs> won't let me respond, Brian. You, When I respond, you jump in and prevent me from responding. So why right, why ahead, would man. I try to respond again when multiple times I've been responding and you interrupt me and to prevent me from responding? Explain that to me, Brian. Why should I try again just and again? Just gaslight your response, bro, and not to the question. The simple question, does the trigonometry put a sun one degree above the horizon, one million six above that cloud? It's a simple 
mathematical question. Don't talk about Brian's geometry and gas light and, and the, the quality of the photo. Just it's a trigonometry. It's a simple mathematical question, bro. Can you give me a straight answer ever? You won't let me answer, Brian. That's your problem. But, uh, okay, so first of all, that's not a full degree. That looks like it's closer to half a degree because the sun is approximately half a degree in diameter. And that rough picture there, it looks like the sun is about a half a degree. Uh, don't know how high the, the observer is, but it's not, it's, the, the thing is you're doing this, this geometry where you're using the sun and doing this million miles above it. It's not above it. Brian, it's that distance away and it's an angular relationship, not a linear relationship. That's what's going on there, Brian. But the one time Okay, so you refuse you, to answer. You refuse to uh, uh, yes, uh, go ahead. No, I, I I was answering and then you stopped me. Okay. There if you, I draw a tangent so to my Brian, feet, there we okay, go. We're done. If I drop you down, won't let me discuss this topic degrees. anymore. You won't you refuse to allow me to discuss this topic. What are you talking about, dude? You just said you're done. While I'm explaining the answer, you interrupted me again on this topic. Repeat. Again, you do not want me to answer this. He's quit running like a bitch, dude. Are me? You said Ryan, he was done. You constantly interrupted me. Again, this is the third time I tried to explain it. You interrupted me again. You do not want me to explain it. I ask you, is the math correct? If I draw a tangent from my feet, okay, and the sun is one degree above that, does that put the sun a million, approximately a million six hundred thousand miles above the cloud? It's a mathematical question, bro. It doesn't need any of the horse shit rolling around in your head, bro. It's a mathematical question. Is that math correct? No. Okay, so if opposite side. That come out to one million six hundred thousand miles if your if your theta is one degree and your adjacent is ninety three million miles your baseline ninety three million miles so you disagree with trigonometry the triangle calculator and I, the explanation of I, why we're I getting disagree it. with your trigonometry but you won't let me explain it to you so um. We've been at this one hour, and we haven't yet started on the the thing that you and I agreed to talk about. Is that a lie? Did, didn't we change it, or is that is that a lie? You said you didn't you, you say that we'll just you said you had a ten like points. I'll, I'll I'll get the screenshot of what you said to me so that everybody can see it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, make sure them all. Changed it, right? Not me. You change it over the points on Jaren's the question, right? All right. I'm putting up the screenshot of our conversation. So everybody You're just can running. See. There you go. You asked me today at 439 my time, did you put together a presentation? Um, no. I said I did not. I figured we could just review the questions from where we uh from when we were on Jaren's. And then you said you put together a 10 minute opener about optics. I said, cool. So we're past that 10 minutes. Right? Yeah. We can get some more, we talk some, more some more context hey, here. So ain't that, ain't that what we're doing? Are you still running away from the points? Because I'd like to get some closure. If we can't get closure, you just say no. Bro, you, that that's not closure. You, I want some type of explanation or demonstration, bro. Look, you just now you said you were done, okay? And if it's the explanation, if I put it in the mathematical, if I put it in the triangle calculator, because that's what you use to explain the downward lit moon with the sun way underneath, then I'm gonna hold that to the clouds too. So I, I'm gonna there there are other imp you know it indicates other things bro there are other freaking repercussions for your claims so when you claim 
the sun is really 1,600,000 miles above the moon and above them clouds, and that's why it's shining down on the moon, then I'm going to hold you clouds too. Like, hold on, it's simultaneously um, hitting the bottom of cloud, the sun above the horizon. You then go discussing a sun and draw a picture with the sun below the horizon. I never brought that up. I showed you bottom lit clouds with the sun above the horizon. Call it half a degree. That 800,000 miles above the cloud. You know, I, I just want an explanation. If the rays are coming in simultaneously shining down on the moon and up on clouds. No, you don't want an explanation because when I do, you interrupt me. All right. For context, I put the rest of our conversation in there. Um, And what am I doing that is is wrong from what what well, or on, what you on, asked for on the second, which was yesterday? Um, I said we can go over the questions that we had for each other on Jaren's. Let me see where. So I'm you going. changed it, right? This was yesterday, Brian. I did not change it. I mean, the full context is there. People. We did change it though, right? We we're going to discuss uh, formulas and all that for bottom up obstruction, and you changed it, right? What was the question that I asked you to Jaren on Jaren's? What was the first question I asked you there? You just read, tune, just read what you what. You know, what was the what was the first was. question I asked you? I, put, you said, I just posted it. You, the first question I you asked you: What is the bottom up obstruction prediction just formula? The beginning. Right, and then what? And then and then what happened? Then just read. Then the second question, how far away does the sun need to be to set? And then what did you say? Then I said, what is the der der derivative of x squared with respect to x? I'm talking about our conversation, bro. Our conversation formula on a flat earth and everything, and then you changed it. You said we could just go over the questions that were asked on Jaren's, like go over multiple shit. That, that was your shit. That was no, you that changed was it. the topic. I didn't change it. That was always the topic, Brian. I to go back to the beginning and read your, me and mine and your texts back and forth. Don't give people half the picture. That would be dishonest, right, did, did Tune? You see, if you didn't read did them you, all. Did you not see what I posted, Brian? Oh my goodness. Just read them. Read them from the very. Hey, it's not right. going to take you two seconds. All right. What's the here, problem? Here we go. Let's go back to. Uh, let's see, September 15, September 15, you tried giving some equations, uh, for something on Tuesday. Could you share them here? I did not write them down on Tuesday. Yeah. When I get back to the house this evening, I'll get that over to you. Maybe set up a discussion or something so I can explain it. I said, a lot of people are curious about this. Want to go over it Tuesday. The context of the question is the equations that you gave me on Tuesday. That was the bottom-up obstruction stuff, Brian. Then you said I would definitely like to. It's on my screen right now on YouTube, our whole conversation. I'll let okay, you know by tomorrow you, whether you. Tuesday's a gopher or not. I said that you're... Okay. I, we... I, I gave you... I, I joked with you about your Discord avatar. And you said and that, then was, you changed that was your and then wife. You... Hold on. So I, then, I'm so still first reading. We were gonna Brian, everybody... That. Everybody can right. see it. Everybody can see it. So, so you don't need to try to accuse me of changing anything. It's it's right here. So you just it's got something open. and then change. All right. Say, so how does Tuesday work, you, bro? I'm not going to be able to. Bro, myself what are you on talking? Tuesday. I may wind up having some time Tuesday evening, but I'm not sure enough to make a commitment. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Then I said on September. She's a habitual liar, dude. So how about this? You just you just. This is on screen. Get right. This is on. So you can review our conversation you can't too. Then I said, "Talk about tune." All right. Then I said, "Next Tuesday." You, uh, you, you said next Tuesday? Question mark. You said, "I'm good with next Tuesday, not tomorrow on Asylum." You game. I said next week works for me. I'd like a platform where we can see each other and share screens if possible. You know, like Zoom. But that's fine. Uh, and then on the 29th, I said, we good Tuesday. You said, pretty sure. I said, cool. You said, if for some reason I can't make it, I'll give you a couple days notice. So far, so good. And then I said, party on, Wayne. And you did not, I have to say, 
I was hurt when you did not say the appropriate response to party on Wayne. What's the appropriate response? The appropriate response is party on oh, Garth. Right. Party on Garth is what you should have said. I was personally offended that you did not say party on Garth when I said that. Anyway, um, talking about being on a Discord, I said this is fine, but it gets chaotic. I would prefer to chat where we go over the questions from the debate on Jaren's. This was on October 2nd, right? This was this was uh, confirming the question about that I asked you the equations for something on Tuesday that, from the debate. A lot of people are curious about this. The question, the Thank formulas, you, so the you, so you said, so right here, it says, I would prefer a chat. This is you changing it, Toon. I prefer a chat where we go over the questions from the debate on Jaren. So we initially the bottom up equations and all that. And yeah, said and, and I you still have a chat. So you changed it, right, Toon? You modified it, right? Can you ever fucking concede anything ever, bro? Is there it's an honest right, bone in your it's body? It's on screen. Everybody can read it. I did not change anything. Yeah, no, yeah. What are you talking? Everybody can read it. You just modified it and said I prefer to go over the questions asked on Jaren's. Okay, so what? What do you mean you prefer? You prefer over what? Well, in your fucking thumbs, you prefer over what we originally discussed. What do you prefer it over? What did to? we originally discuss then, Brian? Watch what do you think was what happened, guys? Watch what you, the weasel. What do you think was the original topic then, Brian? The original topic was was the bottom up obstruction equation, which I sent to you. You said you would discuss. Then you change it. You prefer to what, go over the questions. What was the first question that, we, that we, I asked you? Jaren. What was the first question that I asked you when I talked with you on Jaren's? Oh my God, dude. What did you prefer it over? What's the first just, just question? Just get that, get that straight. I mean, I'll bring it up you again. Said you... I'll, just, I'll just bring it up again. I'll post it in the chat for everybody to see. There it is. The questions that I asked you on Jaren's. First one, what's the bottom-up obstruction prediction formula? That's the question. Yeah, and then, then bottom-up obstruction. And then in the middle of the debate, you said, like, bro, you didn't ask me a flat-earth bottom-up obstruction. You asked me for the obstruction. There is no bottom-up obstruction. On a flat Earth, you could I could give you like an average or something well, like that. But when you get uh, above well, two thousand feet, there is no. And that's a little bit of a problem, though, isn't it? Anyway, let, let's I'll I'll finish so people can read it. Uh, I said I'm creating a, a thumbnail, scheduling it for eight. We can do Zoom or Discord. I think we get along better on Zoom. I think that's being proven true right here. Uh, but if you feel more comfortable on Discord, that's fine. APOC can facilitate. So then you said you didn't want to j do it at the same time as Jaron. Said it wasn't a big deal. Jaren's topic is religion. That's 9 Eastern. You moved it to 10 Eastern. Fine with me. Um, so anyway, there it is. Everybody can see that. So anyway, I I came here expecting that the, the topic was going to be starting with either the question I gave you or the question you gave me. And the question I gave you was, what's the bottom-up obstruction prediction formula? I told you that it's opted. So when you say you prefer, over what? If you pr so we already had discussed what it's going to be about. Then you said, well, I prefer that we go over the questions that were asked on Jaren's. Which was right? the topic so that we'd already you know, established. What, you prefer over, over what? What do you prefer that over? Nothing. That was I was preferring the topics that we had already agreed to. The questions from Jaren's. What else did you think I was talking about? When I said optics, okay, when I said I made a presentation on optics, okay, after you changed it, so you just prefer it to nothing, right? Dude. So you prefer going oh over the gosh. questions asked. Let's, let's go back to when When did you introduce your, your – hold on. Today at 7.18 p.m. is when you, you let me know that you had a 10-minute opener on optics. Today at 7.18 p.m., less than an hour from the original start time. You introduced to me a new thing, you? which is fine. No, I, I shit, dude. I asked you if you made a presentation, okay, uh, hours before that, and and I said because I hadn't, and since you didn't answer, I just threw together a fucking ten minute video. 
Why are you gaslighting, dude? I don't know you why idiot. why you did that when, when when this man is a professor, folks. Why why you felt you needed to do that when the topic was the questions from Jaren's? Yeah, you know, that you preferred over nothing at all because you don't want to be honest instead of just saying that you prefer so if you prefer something it's over something else right so we had already discussed what we were going to have the debate on and until you said you prefer to go over so prefer opposed to what just answer anything ever bro so the the initial topic was talking about the the uh, the equations from Jaren's, and then I said I prefer that we talk about the the questions from Jaren. So it didn't change, Jay, Brian. the 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 topic never changed. Well, until today, when you when you less than an hour before start time, you said that you had a, a something on optics. How long before, How long did you take to answer? Okay, I, I wasn't going to get stuck because uh, how many hours before that did I together you, presentation? You asked me at four thirty nine p.m. If I put together yeah, and a presentation. Then when I, and then when, how long did, before you responded? Uh, it was at 7.06 p.m. I said I did not figure right, it. Right, so three we, hours. I wasn't going to get stuck without a presentation tune because you didn't want to fucking respond. It was especially when I'm in the middle of something. So I put, I told you, I put together a presentation because you didn't respond. I wasn't going to get stuck but, with my pants but down. Brian, but Brian, okay? the topic was already set. That's why it's so confusing. We already yeah, set. Yeah, you preferred. We already said the topic. Really, Here, I'll I'll, I'll Jim, send you. you I'll send to? you the. There you go. There's Jim. there's the topic right there. There's the questions I sent to Jaron. Just read it out loud so, to everybody, clown. So, what so, did you prefer it to, bro? I didn't prefer it to anything. I, that's what I prefer. Then why did you say I prefer it? It's possible to prefer something and not refer to something else. Did you not know that? Dude, you're a professional. This guy's a fucking professional, dude. Anybody out here listening to this, dude, this dude is a professional bullshitter. Right. He says you have to lie to flirt. He makes a rule saying you have to lie to A lot of us are out here trying to get honest answers. We're trying to show demonstrations, bro. And you're just in the background ridiculing it. I mean, you're making it bro, too easy. I can't, even get you to, I can't even get you to agree with the with the triangle calculator, bro. I, I'm disagreeing with your application of trigonometry. But you you didn't want me to explain it to you, so I mean you were gonna miss out on that. Yeah, this is the second show that you're not gonna explain the digit function. I the, tried. The, the, I tried, Brian, but oh, three times you interrupted me. Bro, you, anybody it. can do this. Okay, anybody can go to triangle calculator, put in one degree as your or your observer angle, and then put in ninety three million miles as your baseline. And we don't need Brian or Tune to give the height. It's going to give it as 1,600,000 miles approximately. We don't need you. Right, right. I just wanted to see if you'd agree with it, bro. Of course I don't. That's the excuse yeah, you right. It's because the you don't understand the geometry. That's fine. But I'm not going to explain it to you because you won't let me. So do, do you want to actually go to the the original topic and, and discuss the questions that we went over on Jaren's? No, you just said I don't understand geometry. What's there to understand, dude? When, when I tangent from my feet that's underneath the cloud right will you even admit to that tune is the tangent of my feet lower than the cloud sir <laughs> Tra uh, travis why double. travis i said travis because global mom posted something uh that said travis on it no brian brian like i said three times three times i tried to explain it three times you interrupted me that's it that's it brian you won't let me talk I about it you agree with the trig. You won't let me talk about it. I disagree with your trig. There you go. End of this discussion. That's how professional. That's how professional gets out of answering a question. M M no, I tried. You three times interrupted me, Brian. You said you were done the last time. You fully explain it. All you did. Everybody can go back and listen to you bullshit way through this debate, bro. You are a professional bullshitter, bro. You there's people who can help you, dude. There are people who can help you because you don't even obviously recognize it. You're dodging simple fucking questions, bro, and just bullshitting your way through this debate. You, Brian, you wouldn't let me answer. You won't let me answer. That's his excuse. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and Rodent, no last name, says, boy, he sure is spending a lot of time talking about anything but Flat Earth Proofs. 
definitely. I can answer. Now, I, it's too All late. Right. I can never answer now. There's three All chances right. and answer right. this simple question. Ryan, I'll, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. What is the bottom up obstruction prediction formula? Dude, I already gave it to you for hope. Okay, there is no bottom up obstruction formula. But but things are obstructed make, bottom up. It, okay, you, you really, I don't have to share my screen for this. Did you see where? Soundly, this is called real world demonstration. He set up a seven mile string of lanterns. Okay, he then did a time lapse. What he got was concave, flat, convex, concave, flat, convex. Same thing with Skunk Bay. We do a time lapse. We see shit going in and out, in and out. Okay, this is called reality. We've demonstrated to you over and over. We've even give you the luxury of zoom. Okay, and you just think that there's some equation that can predict shit, bro. It's wrong when you talk about reciprocals, or anything, all this shit. You're never going to get anything consistent, bro. Ever, ever, ever. So, That's the way reality works. Right, so, so, so when you want so, math, uh, so I would ask you this: if, so if APOC, I write a, a, APOC's going to be so sad, long, APOC's going to be so sad. And no, if I write a sentence ten miles long, tune, and uh, it just says, whatever. I, I refuse to answer Brian's question. I refuse to answer Brian's question. I refuse to answer Brian's question on the ground. And it's a perfectly flat ground, and I write it for ten miles over and over and over. What's the best angle I can get to read the whole sentence? If I end it at a wall, so I've got a wall in front of me 10 miles away, straight up and down vertical on a flat plane. And now I just write it on the surface. So I've got basically the surface and a wall making a 90 degree angle. And I've just got this sentence written over and over and over and over. I refuse to answer Brian's question. I refuse to answer Brian's question. What's the best angle I can have to read the whole 10 miles of that sentence? Karen? It sounds to me like you cannot answer the question I asked. Instead, you deflect it. What question? I'm giving you, I'm discussing it right now. So I want to see where your mind what lies. What is the bottom up obstruction prediction formula? There is no bottom up obstruction always. So, I can't give you a formula if it's not no, always then, existent. It cuts off yeah, at, at 2,000 feet, according yet, to NASA. Yet There's things, no bottom up obstruction up, up 2,000 feet. According to NASA, again, I, I'm going to ask you to provide that citation. But right there, I mean, turning torso, I just posted it, uh, definitely is getting obstructed bottom up. And there is a, there is a globe prediction, and it's it's pretty stinking good. There is exactly no flat well, earth later, prediction. About later, later that day when, that, when that's not true. You want to ignore that. But here's so, my question. This, this is so going to get us to the point, dude. Uh, what's the best angle we can get at that sentence? If, uh, like I said, with my description, this will get us. It's a I might be able to teach you something, deflect, bro. Deflect away from the actual question. So, got it. I just answered the question over and over and over. Here's no, your no, answer. No, I'm no. not done. No. There no, is no full because there's not always obstruction, tune. You want me to say that over and over? There's no formula because there's not no, I mean there is, there is for the globe, and it's correct. But there you go. Don't there. like answering. You want to just cut my answer off and say you're not answering when you are the one who won't answer because of saying you're getting cut off. Bro, I'm answering your question. There is no formula because there's not always obstruction. Tune, quit saying I'm not answering it. That's dishonest. All right, let's go to the second one then. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, now, now, yeah, you waved, so the, you just, waved the white flag. You, you, you punted. I've got an angle. You, it's not your turn to ask a thousand questions. If I've got an angle, if I've just got a one. wall and a big long ten That's mile sentence written out, what's the best angle I can have to reading that to reading the whole ten mile sentence? It's not a trick question, bro. It's it's just a question to see where you think. Uh, if I've got, like I said, on the ground a sentence written on the ground ten miles long, and it it stops at a wall. What's the best angle I can get to read that sentence? I, I don't know. I Brian. obviously, it, it, I obviously it, can't read it uh, on the ground. I can only read about what fifty feet of it, right? I, and I, if I start to get higher and higher, um, I'm, I'm gonna ask you what's the best angle I could possibly get. Brian, to, we, we to all read know it. you're higher and higher. Whoo! Oh, more gaslighting. More, you're a professional, bro. Keep you're them not, coming. You're not high. No, I'm not fucking high. Not right now. Later. What kind of what kind of question is that, dude? You're professional. You're running out of shit. Now you're trying to now I, you're trying to throw digs. Brian, the, the, 
you uh, you got upset with me that you thought that I changed the topic from something other than the questions that we asked on Jaren's to the questions that we asked on Jaren's when it was always just the questions we asked on Jaren's. And so I asked the first one, you punted. Let's go to the second one. How far away does the sun need to be to set? I've answered every question you've answered, not even one of mine. But I'm just going to keep on exposing your ass. Bro, you are a professional, dude. When did you answer this Just question? keep up. If you want to take turns, you want to take turns? Because I'm going to go back to my first question. If we're taking turns. I just answered yours. There's no formula because there is not always obstruction. And once we get above 2,000 feet, according to NASA's paper, shot out Cite the gleam, citation there's needed. no bottom up obstruction. Citation needed. Yeah. Like I said, I'll get you that. Uh, according to him, according to bread. But either way, you would agree, or you probably won't, but most honest people would, that on certain, on a lot of days, the, the we see as far as the atmosphere lets us on a lot of days. Yeah, and and Willing the globe and and like I that? said, like I said, Brian, we have we have explanations for that and understandings, and if we understand the conditions, we can predict it. So you just can so you're willing to concede that someday the only limiting factor is the atmosphere. The condition. There's more than just atmosphere, but yeah, the conditions are are definitely modify it. And if we have an understanding of what's going on in the atmosphere. It affects our prediction, and our predictions are correct. Sounds like a bunch of excuses. You want to it, give me this list? It's actually of, uh, not an excuse at all. It's one hundred percent our ability to predict things if we know the conditions. Right. One hundred percent. Do you want to give me a that. list of these conditions, please? It sounds like excuses. Maybe it's not. Yeah, you want well, to give hey, me a list of yeah, said hey, conditions, please? Yep. Yeah, the lapse rate would be the first and most important one to get. Okay, so you're up and down. You're talking about. I thought we were looking vertically or horizontally. Yeah. Is that, that the only? Uh, yeah. The, the, the most let's important. Go the most important one. The most important one is the lapse rate. If you don't have that, then it reduces the ability to be precise. Okay. Can you show me a observation with a? Not a flat Earth observation. A globe Earth observation with a lapse rate. You've had five years. Can you demonstrate that for me? Sure, sure. So okay. So 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 I want to see the thermometer. I want to see the us. I want to see the thermometer, and I want to see all the facts. Oh, you you want the you want the vertical lapse rate measurement? Yes. I want to see what you ask of us. Absolutely. That's all. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Hold on. All right. And I've talked about this before. I just put it in the chat there. It is. Uh, the results of leveling refraction tests by the National Geodetic Survey. It was published in 1981. I put the, the link right directly to it there so you don't even have to follow the DOI link and download it from there. In this, in this uh, measurement, they, they used uh, INVAR um, uh, poles and they put multiple thermometers on these INVAR poles so that they could measure the vertical temperature uh, it's I mean, does it, is it showing any of this, bro, or is it just claimed? Do you, you got any Globers like any of these people, any anti-flat earther demonstrations of this? The way we show you temperature, surface temperature, the way we show you the, the temperature off the ground, the actual, you know, where we can derive the lapse rate. Do you have anything besides the government claims? Right, anything well, in reality? Anything I, somebody did? Yeah, yeah, all right. I was in the middle of explaining it. You refused to allow me. Let's go to the next topic then. Wow. Just, oh my God. Okay, so. You refuse to allow me to complete my explanation for exactly what you asked for. Right, you did not let me. You do not want this evidence presented. You are scared of it. That's why you constantly interrupt me. So we'll move on. You already presented it, dog. Did you not already present it? And you just explained it. When you start repeating your shit, then I'll try to jump in to save for time. Okay, anybody can go look. Okay, I'm asking you because that's not what I wanted. I didn't ask for some government horseshit. I asked for something that one of you anti-flat earthers 
have demonstrated oh, so with you moved, obstruction. It's called moving the goalpost, Brian. You, about, you did not you specify who had to do it. You did not specify that it in. could not become from becoming from the National Geodetic Survey. You didn't specify that ahead of time, Brian. That was a goalpost move. The geodetic survey has pre-assumed conditions, bro. Do you want to give any other condition? You said please, there were several. Please cite the paper, so one is the page on this paper that you didn't read, where they have the pre-assumed conditions. Go ahead. We've all what seen page? your page. Okay. What page? Look, you what said page? there are multiple conditions. Hold on. What you said page? there are multiple no, conditions. No, no, no. Right can now. You, what page? You, you made the claim. One? You made the claim that they made they they pre-assumed condition things. What page of this did they do it on? It's a twenty-eight page paper. Did Which one? In their calculations, which, which page? Just which page? Did you they told use me. R? You it's told a me. question. You told me Deflected that. You are, Al. No, Brian. Did you you made R? the very specific claim that they made assumptions. What page did they do that on? And now I'm backing it up. They used R in their refraction calculations. R. That's pre-assumed. That's what we're arguing about, Toon, is whether R is real or not. You don't what, what get page? to pre-assume R what page? and then question me about it, bro. What page did they do that on in their measurements? You show me a lapse rate that has anything to do on a flat plane. Lapse rate is just a vertical temperature measurement, Brian. Vertical temperature. So if my vertical is flat, then we're not having this conversation, are we? Your Tune. vertical is not flat, Brian. That's not how verticals work. Okay. Now, you said there are multiple conditions. You're changing. No, you say the You're vertical changing. ain't flat. That's what the debate's about, right, Tune? That the vertical ain't flat. You say that uh, zero vertical, uh, our vertical datum is not flat. Okay. Then you go to add R. Why would to I say a vertical any, datum any is measure flat? Any measure bro. But vertical Hold on. is not, vertical is not, is not something like that's flat running. or not. It, it doesn't make sense, Brian. Are there you, any other conditions? You said the main one is lap rate. You said there are multiple conditions. Yeah. The, any other the, conditions the I need one. to be aware of? Yeah. Well, hey, if you can't get that one accounted for, then then the other ones, any others don't matter. But, uh, you know, things like, hey, if, if it's, if it's uh, hazy or if there's clouds or fog, there's another one. Let me feel you in tune. Tune, if I'm one inch off the ground at the salt flats or one foot off the ground and it's flat, then there's no lapse rate because we're at the bottom of the density gradient, dumbass. Of course there's Quit asking rate, stupid right? questions, dude. There's still a lapse Jesus rate. Jesus Christ. If, if you assume the earth is curved, you can give me a lapse rate, bro. It's not going to be the same on a flat plane, genius. Now, can we move on? Brian, vertical, vertical temperature gradients. Vertical if temperature you want gradients. To assume oh gosh, radius, bro, then, then that's different, right? Uh, Brian, Brian, vertical temperature gradients have nothing to do with the shape of the Earth. It's just a, a measurement of the vertical temperature gradient. Welcome to flat Earth, bud. That's, that's not, my point precisely, because you just said it's the main makes condition, no sense at all, Brian. and now you're saying the vertical vertical lapse rates have nothing to do with no, it. No, no. Welcome to flat Earth, dog. Br Brian, how dumb can can you be? That is not at all anything. That's not a thing, Brian. That's your main claim, right? That's your main claim. A vertical temperature gradient is just measuring a vertical temperature gradient. It has nothing to do the with the topography. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with with somewhere else on the Earth. It doesn't have anything to do with the overall shape of the Earth. It's just a vertical temperature gradient measurement. Oh, quit That's running. it. Brian. Can I pin you down on anything at all, Brian, bro? Quit running. This all you do is aggravating. move the goalpost, Brian. Like you asked me for a very specific thing. I gave you exactly that. You moved the goalpost. Then you made a claim about it. I gave you an example. You made a claim there. about the, the citation that I gave you. But you haven't read it. How could you make I've a claim about the, the okay. how could you make a claim about the thing you didn't read? Bro, you can't give me a lap rate on a globe without R. Are you gonna lie and say that you can? A lapse rate is just the vertical temperature right, gradient. Sir? It's it's measured in degrees and per meter. That's it. You said we don't measure curve in degrees last not when I ask you Oh my god, Brian. <laughs> Degree yeah, temperature. Oh my God, is right. Temperature is measured in degrees as well as curves, Brian. Oh my gosh. Yeah, very good, very good. So I'll ask you one more time. Oh on a flat crap. plane, if I'm at the bottom of oh the, of, if I'm at the baseline, and I have a clear, flat. 
What's the lapse rate, dog? And on a globe, do I not have to use, do not, I not have to include the radius if I'm going to calculate the lapse rate on a globe? No. Be honest. No, the lapse okay. rate is just, just a temperature per meter, per lint. Oh my gosh, Brian. You don't even know what a lapse rate is, Brian. You have no clue what a lapse rate is, and you're trying to enter this conversation? Oh, I do know. Quick gaslighting me, bro. I do know what a, you're telling me that on a globe, that there's no R involved in a lapse rate. You're saying that. Correct. It, that's right. The lapse rate. What you do? Me, Here's how you do it, Brian. Here's how you do it, Brian. You ready? Certain. You ready? This is this is really easy. Here's how you, yeah, how you on, measure the lapse again. rate. Lie again. Lie again, Tune. We all hear you. Here's how you measure the lapse rate. You, you, you put a thermometer at, at one meter high. Stop talking so I can explain it to everybody. You put a, you put a thermometer. Brian, stop talking. Brian, stop talking, Brian. Stop. Be, a, be an adult, Brian. Be an adult, Brian. Stop talking so I can explain this. Here's how you measure you a lapse. You just the fucking people. Oh, my gosh, Brian. What if the ground's curving down? Brian, soon? Brian, stop talking so I can explain it. Then you'll understand. You'll stop making such a fool of yourself. All right, a temperature, a vertical temperature lapse rate. You put a thermometer at one half of a meter high. Then you move it up to one meter high. Then you move it up to one and a half meters high. Then you move it up to two meters high. And you record the temperature at each of those spots. That's how you get the vertical lapse rate. There's no radius no. involved, Brian. Hey, so level, right? So so when I line them up at one meter, that's level all the way, right? Not Oh my so gosh, I don't need man. to involve R. Hold on, don't, dude, quit interrupt. So I don't need to involve R because level is straight and horizontal, right, genius? Wow, this is beyond you, I guess. That's All right, not, I have pictures. I, 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 I did not. this. I did this. All right, here it is. This is me measuring a lapse rate right there. There's one. I there's, measure one meter two. above the ground along the extent. It'll give you the lapse rate. I just go from ground to high, getting your vertical lapse rate, and I extend on. I extend right. on into the distance. There you go, and Brian. I, I give you shush, shush, Brian. I, I posted four pictures there of me measuring a vertical lapse rate. There you I think go. the lapse rate is one spot, y'all. Just it is. It is, Brian. It is in one spot. Look, just, a just lapse like rate is literally thought, in one spot, Brian. I make sure it's over. McToon thought that the fourth order measurement is measuring the fourth inch on a fucking tape measure. He doesn't know fucking reality. He thinks that a fucking that the rate is just in one spot and that just explains the whole lapse rate over ten miles. He has no comprehension oh gosh, of reality. Brian, Brian, could you could you could you just look at the things that I posted there, Brian? I'm looking at them. You don't right. understand what, right. what the first what, one. The first one is at one half of a meter high. Do you think I could get a lap rate in one position, bro? Shush, Do you think I could shush, get a lap rate in one position and tell you shush, the temperature Brian. at one meter, Brian, then shush. then a meter and a half, then two meters, on, you and explain on like ten miles? I mean, bro, you, you don't understand. Right. Just just quit while you're ahead, bro. You're wrong. Flatter, you don't this, understand this shit. You have the, all this shit on your website, years, and you can't even explain it properly. I was trying to explain it, but you constantly interrupt like a child. Brian. I'm literally Constantly. waiting for you to finish, and literally you cut me at the last time I to say something real quick. So I can explain it. Gonna keep fucking running, bro. All right, Apocryphon, could you mute him so that I can explain it, please? You gonna mute me, Apocryphon? Apocryphon, please mute him so that he can, so that I can explain it. You're gonna have to mute him, or this. I mean, we can, we can be done now because he's he's too much of a child to to shut his face and listen. You're not going to be serious. I'm Stop just talking. There you go. All right, thank you, Apocryphon. At one half of a meter, that first picture I put up there is uh, 0.2 degrees Celsius. At one meter, it's 0.7 degrees Celsius. At one and a half meters, 0.9 degrees Celsius. And at um, two meters is 1.2 degrees Celsius. That's the vertical lapse right there. So you can do, you can do that right there. There's no globe needed to that to do that. So you can simply look at 0.2 to 1.2 over the the uh, height of one and a half meters so that is that is uh typically when you use a lapse rate you do it over a 10 meter is a, is a convenient one so you can extend that up to 10 meters or leave it at, at one and a half meters doesn't matter that's the that's the lapse rate if you want to be more precise you get it in multiple places the the multiple lapse rates between you and the observation so brian was kind of on that 
There's multiple places where you can get lapse rates, but a single lapse rate is at one single position. All right, go ahead, Brian. You're good. Now you can't use me interrupting as an excuse, okay? Well, okay, so now you're gonna enter you're gonna update your understanding of it. Now you're gonna say, well, you can extend it out. Okay, so if I extend it out and I measure one meter, okay, 10 feet away, and then a half a mile away I measure at another meter, and then another half mile I measure at another so Two questions. Is that level it being level curved? Where you'd have to add R to your lap rate on a salt flat or something like water? Or are you trying to say that I can get one lap rate at one spot and that's gonna explain my ten mile observation? Bro, I'm teaching you real time, dog. Brian. And you're running. You can be more precise by getting more lapse rate measurements, but you can start by doing just one. But if I get multiple lapse rates, right, and I'm one high, doesn't that curve down on a ball? It has nothing. Ain't that the whole argument? The, the, the lapse, the you, different lap, lapse rates don't have gradient. anything to do directly with the shape of the earth, Brian. They've heard enough, dude. You, you don't, dude, you can update your understanding later. It extends into the distance. It's not just one spot. You get a lapse rate for one area. That's not going to explain a 10-mile observation, dude. Sure. Now you be know. More precise. Now you can update your web page. Excellent. Update be more your explanation. Precise. Yeah, be more precise. But there, but lapse rates are vertical measurements, a single vertical measurement at one, one position. That's it. Okay. Now, so at one position. Now, if I'm going to do a 10-mile observation and I'm going to gauge my lapse rate going off distance and I've got a one-meter observer height, is that going to curve? Is my lapse rate going to curve following R? Lapse rates don't curve. Okay, right. Lap, but is lapse, my 10 mile rate, observation. A lapse rate is just a vertical temperature lapse measurement. Rate. It's Jesus just Christ. A, it's just a vertical temperature measurement. That's it. Right, right. And is is that gradient? Okay, as it as I get lapse rates and I'm calculate my lapse rates off into the distance measure, at one meter viewer it. height, is that gonna be a straight line of sight or is it gonna curve down when I go to calculate the lapse rate? You, you measure the lapse rate, Brian. And once you measure it, dude, I'm gonna call you running man, dog. Literally I'm gonna call you running man. Once you measure it and you're trying to get some type of Bullshit globe calculation, and I'm one meter viewer height. I'm trying to gauge a lapse rate and average my measurements off into the distance. Is one meter height, is that going to stay as a straight line on a globe, or is that going to curve following R it, it, on a globe? It, if the lapse rate is positive, which it, except in extreme circumstances, it is positive, then that ray of light will bend down. Who cares, bro? I'm, I'm asking you, is the line of sight where I'm gauging my lap rate measurements up into the distance of my 10-mile observation, the more the better, okay? Now, is that one meter line of sight straight? Do I, when I gauge my, when I average my lap rates, okay, do I use a straight line of sight or do I, are they curved? If, if okay, the, so, if I'm using a globe, time, I've got to insert all right. I'll have, I'll give you the, the the answer a second time. If that lapse rate is positive, then that line of sight will go. curve down. So now level ain't curved on your globe, right? So no, level is, level is still curved, but that line of that line of sight is curved as well. Right. Okay. So if I'm now line of sight is with your lapse rate. On a perfect day, dude. This dude's a... <laughs> is is this this is a simple application? Well, it's not a simple application. It's a it's a rather it's a rather complicated application of Snell's law. It requires differential equations to to uh, to get precise. But people have gone through it and and have ways that have uh, you know rule of thumbs ways to apply it if if you don't want to do the differential equations. Okay, okay, okay. So if I'm looking uh, on the salt flat and I'm one meter high and I see something one meter high, 10 miles away with a laser with direct line of sight, what's up with your lapse rate? Okay, you just get to that. Was it okay if I just took it in one? In one what? 
just one spot, just one little vertical lapse rate. That's sure. all we need, right? Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah, that'll that's okay. Of course, you can do better, but but yeah, that's fine. Then what? Okay, welcome to flat Earth. How, uh, dude, how, 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 how does that? Flat how does that? Flat how does got 17 mile from uh from like one foot to five foot observations but, they've tried but, to to, sh- Brian, to test the lap three to see if it Brian, changed from different elevations it never changed bro you're Brian, just you're throwing brian did they measure the lapse rate dude they got temperature surface measurements they got measurements a little higher but what they mainly did okay is they just changed elevations and change distances at the same but time Brian, i'm asking they showed you, a 10 this, mile this, so they spent, showed 10 miles and a 17 mile they yeah, showed yeah. that it brian, doesn't change brian we've spent so all this time talking about lapse rate. Lapse rate brian, change talked, right all this time we've talked about lapse rate so now i'm asking you in these you observations it, bro. in the i know you didn't understand it but but i'm helping oh, you God. and in in uh, these observations you're speaking of did they measure the the, the lapse rate Bro, I ask you, things started with me asking you for an example of one of you anti flat earthers showing me an observation and showing me lap rates, yeah, showing I, me temperature. I, I'll, I'll post it again. And all you did is revert to the model, it, bro. Post it again. To, you, to uh, your uncle, right here, Sam, right. that is. Right there. There we go. There's there's the uh, there's the the, uh, the measurement. This exactly what you asked for. Precisely what you asked for. They're measuring the lapse rate, and they're and they're yeah. comparing the lapse the rate. They're, you they're got comparing, a video, Brian. They're comparing the lapse rate. They're comparing the measured let me lapse specify. rate. To, oh my gosh, you just don't. You just can't. You just can't let me finish. Allow the me sentence. to. You just can't let me finish the sentence, Brian. Is that it? I'm you to refuse. To keep running you refuse to to allow me to ans- answer a question. You ask me a question, I'm answering, and you immediately interrupt, Brian. Every single time. And Flat Earthers, Flat Earthers, he's yours. We don't want him. He, You're stuck with him. He, he, he won't. He absolutely is scared. He's scared to allow me to answer questions so much that he, w- he can't have enough self-control to stop talking long enough unless his own person has to mute him so that he's not so rude that he constantly interrupts. That's the only way you can talk to Brian. The grandstand, Mick Tune, the grandstanding capital, bro. If I ask you for something and I apparently wasn't clear, and you're running your mouth, refusing to stop, and I go to clarify what I'm asking for, and you just won't shut up, and you start gaslighting and grandstanding, bro. You are a professional by the definition, bro. You're full of shit. You're not honest. Okay, you All don't you understand. Need to do have to shit. Is let me explain Sorry. things without interrupting, but you can't. If I ask you a question what, and you're answering something, you... yeah, I I was answering exactly, but you didn't want to hear it. You didn't want to hear it. It, it hurt you. It hurt your precious. We're not playing dodgeball, bro. We're not playing dodgeball. We're having a conversation or a debate or a discussion. Maybe you're playing fucking dodgeball, bro. Why don't you answer an actual question, bro? Answer I can't. One you won't let honest, me. Bro. You refuse to let me, Brian. Every time I try to answer, you, you interrupt. So you Every time. Have that excuse. Every time I, I try to answer, you interrupt. Me. Then you go back and you say, how come you don't answer me. questions? The reason why I don't answer the question is because you won't allow me to answer the question, Brian. You don't want to hear the answer to the question, Brian. It scares you. That's, That's why lie. you have to interrupt. That's a lie. Well, then you're a shut up and let me explain it. I bet you won't. Go back to the first question that I asked you about mathematical. If I've got a one degree angle, with it, answer that. I'll shut up. In fact, a part's going to mute me. Answer the trigonometry. Don't answer any implications of it. Just answer the simple trig. One degree, t- okay, and a 93 million mile baseline. What's the opposite side height? You won't answer it, though. Mute me, a part, right. and see if they'll answer it. All right. Here's here's the... It's it's not that difficult. The The clouds... The angle from the observer to the clouds is not the same angle as the angle from the observer to the sun. So the, if you need to do a second triangle at the same distance to the sun at 93 million miles from the observer to the, the bottom of the clouds when you're drawing that triangle. That is going to be significantly higher because when you're doing triangulation, 
you've got angles going on. So while the sun may be in a certain position, the projected position of the clouds is significantly higher than the sun. That's why the angle between the sun and the clouds is the important thing, not the linear elevation at the sun's distance. Done. Okay, ask again for a number. Got a theta or observer angle tangent at one degree. I've got an adjacent or baseline of 93 million miles. I'm asking you again for the hundredth time, what is the opposite side height or C? What is the opposite side height? All right, I will again tell you what. Deflect. I'm going to, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do the math for you, Brian. I've already done it and posted it five no. times. All right. Pro? Hold on. I'm I'm doing the math for you, Brian. But I mean, do you want me to do it, or are you going to interrupt? Your 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 choice here. Yeah. No. No answer. Good. I will do the math for you. All right. You've got. You've got the sun over there. You've got the clouds here. And so we've got the the rays coming in. To the observer, rays coming in. Yeah. I know you can't see this, people. All right, so here is, uh, if you want to look on, on YouTube, I'll make this a little bigger. Here's our, my first my first step of this uh, diagram here. There you go, right there. So we've got the observer. We've got the sun off, off on the edge there. We've got the clouds. Again, the sun is hitting the underside of the clouds there. And there's the, there's the earth. So <clears throat> that's step one. Now I'm going to draw a, a, a very distant because people get scale confused. Um, the sun and the moon, the sun and the earth. Now, this angle is important from the bottom of the observer, or sorry, the observer to the bottom of the clouds. And I'm going to draw that line. I'll see if I can draw it in a different color so that it's a little more obvious there. So. And I'm going to use the same there. So, all right, here we go. This is good. You're going to love this, Brian. You may not. Have. Oh, that marker is junk. Sorry. Um, you need to do two triangles. That was the thing I said in my explanation, but you didn't get that. So this angle, we've got two angles going here. We've got theta one, theta two. All right, here you go. There it is. So we've got the angle. I hope, uh, Brian, if you can watch on YouTube, I don't know. But you've got the angle between the horizon and the sun. That's theta one. And we've got the angle between the sun and the, the cloud there. That angle there is important because you're going to draw two different, um, two different triangles. So the second one, then, is the projected angular position of the clouds. I'm going to draw like a dashed cloud right there. See that? Okay. Now I got to draw in the angle between the edge of the earth and the sun there, which is, which is your, uh, when you want to look at. So there it is. All right. So you said it was one degree. It doesn't matter. I thought it was closer to half of a degree, but we're going to do it at one degree. And then I'm going to look up at the, uh, I'm going to look at that picture again, and that picture again, one, two, three, four. We're going to say that there's um, three. How about three degrees between the top of the sun and the clouds? All right, so here's the triangles that we're going to need to solve. We've got 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers to the sun, and then one degree right here. This little one is one degree, and we've got from the clouds there you go that's to the sun there this the same baseline here that we're using that's going to be three degrees so and i'll do it in miles for you brian because i don't i don't know if you're you're ready for kilometers doesn't matter too uh, much but so now, just to save time uh, i feel like i let you enough in your own drawing i asked for the number i said disregard everything else just give me the the opposite side height which you have now what i'm gonna ask you is put me three miles above that cloud and show me that same math put me three 
three miles above the cloud and give me another tangent and show me the math on that dumbass i'm not done with this one but you interrupted again i knew you would so all right we've got i don't have this. to answer it's a fucking idiot all right so a the, there is 1.6 the, all right so this this uh distance right here is you ready one point one point six million Ta -da. now if i'm three miles above the clouds it no, changed I'm, to the I'm sun not, i'm not done yet brian change, change. now hold on yeah three so i need to cut get the other angle there and that's going to be four all right we've got right there four eight seven zero all right so here it is here is here is the corrected uh trigonometry relationship trigonometric relationship that you didn't quite get there so you were looking at the linear elevation that you thought of the sun over the clouds but you didn't project the clouds out to the distance of the sun so when we do that when we do it correctly i told you that you did it wrong this is doing it right we've got the, the clouds, the projected position of the clouds is 4.8 million miles above the sun, which is 1.6 million miles. This dude is so stupid, dude. Oh, my you God, dude. You didn't okay, let now me finish. Me, now just like I said. three miles above the clouds, bro. Finish. Now put right. three miles above go. the clouds and tell right, me how right. much the angle change. I, Genius. I, I, uh, I, uh, I, you know, I did, I try, did try to dumb it down for you a little bit, Brian, but, uh, I'm I'm afraid that, that it was not possible. No, dumb it down some more, bro. Please dumb it down some more. Now put now put yourself uh, three miles above the clouds. Tell me how much that angle changed, genius. Sorry, Brian. It's beyond. Put you. yourself three miles above the cloud. Yeah. Take yourself off the ground and yeah. put yourself three miles above it's, the cloud. It's gonna be the same thing. Now tell me what what's, what's the angle change? Okay, so the sun is still. One degree above the tangent of my feet. Correct. Tune. Sorry, Brian. Now the clouds underneath me. The clouds underneath me. Yeah. Right. Brian. The sun I'm, what what is what, still, what, I, what you've described you know, is I'm going not, to be dude, another I'm not just diagram. You horse shit for fucking five minutes. Now I'm asking you a simple question. Yeah, Brian. If I go when, when you're learning, cloud, when you're learning, that's what happens. You have to sometimes listen for a while, Brian. When somebody is, is right. educating you for free on trigonometry, you just have to sit there and listen sometimes. Bro, you're but, educating but everybody it's who's obvious, listening Brian, to your that it went, it went over your head. And so doing a round two on this will also go over your head. Dude, round two. Okay, so answer the simple question, Mule. If I'm three miles, if I'm 100 miles above the and I've got, did, this, did the angle to the sun change more than anything appreciable? Or is the sun still do, do one degree? I can, I can draw the diagram for above the clouds. I'll I'll do that for you, Brian. I, I'm 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 not I'm not confident that you'll understand it, but I will. I no, will you draw it for you. The question: What you'll do? What you'll really do is not answer my question. So right. now I've went up a hundred miles. Now what I want with the clouds one hundred feet or miles below me? What's the new opposite side height? All right. So with a one degree got, sun, it's still one degree, right? Yeah. All right. So here's here's what yeah, yeah. here's what we've got. I'm just drawing to the diagram again. We've got the the clouds are going to be since they're below you now. So we've got theta two here, and we've got theta one here, right? All right. There we go. All right. Here is, and then people people have screenshotted this. That, that was nice. Thank you. I'll put this up here. Um, did that raise the sun? Did yeah. that raise the sun when I moved? There you go. There you go. There's there's the new diagram. Now the clouds are below because you're you're physically higher than the clouds, so that's going to change. Still it up to on the bottom. So Aren't they go. still hitting the bottom? Did my height change the there fact that the sun and the sun and the, the clouds are underneath my feet? But now okay. it's still but, hitting the bottom yeah, of the cloud. The but, sunlight Roy, what's is happening still hitting is, the is that cloud. is that your view to the to the clouds changed dramatically because you're close to them and your view to the sun did not change dramatically because it's very far away so there you go so it's a 
dependent, right? right? So it matters right. where there the observer is. It's carnivore, right, Tim? Carnivore dropped it in there for you. So there you go. There's the corrected application for perspective and trigonometry for you to, to answer your question. And thank you for letting me talk uh, 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 through it. I, I, I apologize that I could not dumb it down enough for you, though. Dumb it down, bro. You're so full of shit. So when I went 100 miles away, Okay, is the light still hitting the bottom of the cloud down there? Yeah, but you can't, you can't see it because you're above the cloud. Now. It's a simple question. Quit dodging, dodgeball. Is the light still hitting the bottom of the cloud? When I, when I come up and the angle's still one degree down, I'm 100 miles I still have a one degree downward angle from the sun. It's still projecting a downward shadow, but in, in the math doesn't change, right? Yeah, I mean, look at look at the diagram. Have you looked at the diagram? Did, did you look at the diagram? Bro, I'm looking at your horse shit. Fucking, I'm did, looking at your horse shit, bro. Did, did it, was it too much for you? Right. Oh, you're not answering the question. So I, when I, what's I my exactly, new angle? I directly what? answered the question. Bro, what's my, why are you putting an observer on the sun? The observer's not the sun, the observer's on the earth. But why are you drawing theta from the sun in in the diagram? Because there's a, there's an angle between between the, the, no, no, no. the horizon. Theta I is wasn't the done talking. Angle, right? I wasn't done talking, Brian. I, I, no, you're just you making asked shit me, up, dude. You asked me a specific question. I got three or four words into it. You jumped in. You're a dick. Why do you have to be so rude, Brian? Why can't you just let me answer a question? You asked me a question. Oh, you're making you won't, shit up. I you asked won't you hundred times. Yeah, he won't let me. All right. Thanks, Brian. You're an Please asshole. Kid. Leave. Go ahead. I'm not fucking going over, dipshit. I Got asked it. you a hundred times. What's, I didn't ask you about the... All right. Apocryphon, I'm not listening to him anymore. He's just too rude. He's all worked up. I get it. Brian gets worked up. But but Apocryphon, thank you very much for having me. Um, it's been... It's been uh, two hours and 15 minutes of Brian interrupting me constantly. So he's yours. You got to keep him. I don't, we don't want him. Um, but you know, he's got, he's got that little bit of, you know, that something about him that, that you just can't not love. So Apocryphon, um, thanks a lot. All right, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wish you guys could have uh, talked about it. I know there's a lot more to cover, but no worries. Uh, he he did not want to talk we'll about see. the questions I asked Jaron on Jaron. So that's fine. I get it. But anyway, all right. Apocryphon, I'm going to head right, back to, uh, to my channel and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you again next time. All right, man. Sounds like, sounds good. Take care.